what's going on everybody i hope everybody's doing good today i know the lighting in here looks weird uh because like i said in some of my other videos because i don't have a whole lot of work and lights in here unfortunately you know that's something i definitely need to work on at some point but yeah but anyways i hope everybody's doing good today you know some of my friends and I, as well as some of my family as well, went to a fair today, the Allegan County Fair, which is in Allegan, you know, definitely had a fun time, you know, made some good memories tonight. It was something that we definitely enjoyed. But anyways, I'm sure uh, a lot of you that are watching this video probably know who Tudor Dixon is for many reasons. For one, some of you guys have probably seen the ads on YouTube, you know, if you're a Michigander anyways, you know, where these people are talking about how Tudor Dixon is against abortion and that, you know, she's not making any exceptions or, you know, all sorts of bullshit to try and make her look like the bad guy and make Gretchen Whitmer look like she's the best person on earth, you know, but... Hey, you know, that's what people want to try and do, I guess. So be it. Not only that, but, you know, she's running to become governor of Michigan, which I hope she does win, you know, because, I mean, honestly, I cannot stand Gretchen Whitmer. Gretchen Whitmer has done a horrible job as being governor of Michigan. She shut this stayed down many many times and honestly i am just i'm fed up with her bullshit that's how i feel about whitmer in all honesty now look before i say what i absolutely have to say i will say this right now do i understand that there are women out there that have been raped or they've dealt with incest issues or you know they get pregnant and they have health problems that could put the either the woman's life or the baby's life at risk. I absolutely understand that, okay? You ain't gonna explain that shit to me. I already know, okay? It's unfortunate. I get it. But with that said, let me say this right now. First off, not all women that get raped get pregnant and not all women that get pregnant from being raped end up getting abortions there are a lot of women out there that have gotten raped from or I'm sorry they've gotten pregnant from being raped and they decide to keep the baby I know for some women out there they don't want to do that because you know having that baby would remind them of that unfortunate time they got raped okay I totally understand that but to a lot of you people out there that keep bringing up rape issues or incest issues or you know health problem issues you know mainly the rape issue anyways you guys make it seem like each and every woman out there that has gotten pregnant from being raped ends up getting an abortion that is not the case at all not even close it's mainly only a low percentage of women out there that decide to get an abortion if they get pregnant from being raped now for the health issue reason that people keep bringing up you know they actually make medicine and health care plans for women that go through that just because the baby is causing health problems for itself or the woman that's holding the baby, that doesn't always mean the baby is going to die. Is it possible for the baby to have some issues after it's born? Yeah, that is possible, but you know, there's, that's not always the case at all might be the case for a lot of babies out there that have had health problems while they're still in their mother's womb 
that, you know, they might end up having health problems when they're born, but, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. But, yeah, regardless, like I said, they actually make health care and medicine for women that absolutely go through that and they absolutely need help and for the incest thing i'm not even going to get into that because i think that's just ridiculous to talk about in my opinion anyways i'm sure people are gonna keep bringing that up but you know whatever so be it then so with that said i'm gonna say something that's probably gonna piss a lot of people off but you know what i really don't care you know why because i have a right to say what i want to say and that's that if i end up pissing a bunch of people off for saying this well so be it then but if it's okay for certain politicians out there to make laws about you know how women can get an abortion even if the baby is about to be born I don't see why it should be an issue if Tudor Dixon doesn't want to make any exceptions on abortion to all you people out there that keep bringing issues like health incest or rape every time somebody says that they are against abortion let me ask you something right now. Do you guys actually care about women that have had to go through that in their life? Or do you just want to bring that up every time somebody says they're against abortion, all because you don't like their fucking opinion? Like I said in the beginning of the video, yes, it's unfortunate that there are women out there that have had to go through those types of things. I'm sorry to hear about that, okay? I am I really am. Do I wish that those things didn't happen? Absolutely. But is there anything I could do about that? No, oh, I'm sorry. Regardless of what the laws are going to be, you know, things like that are just going to happen. So be it. I'm sorry. Not only that, but I got a question about this as well. Why is it that every time something is said about abortion, you know, and people like to keep using things like women's rights as an excuse, but anytime there's other laws made where, you know, women can't do this or that, you know, or if a woman says that it's her right to own a gun or do this or do that, I don't hear a damn word said about women's rights only when abortion is talked about that's it do you guys really even care about women's rights or do you only care about women's rights when it comes to abortion and for those of you that are going to say oh well abortion is the main thing you know abortion is the main thing that women's rights mainly focuses on man no that is not the case at all maybe a lot of the liberal women out there think like that but that is not the case at all there are many other things that have to do with women's rights and abortion is not the main thing at all unless if you're a liberal woman then maybe that might be different oh and speaking of women's rights you know since you guys want to keep bringing up women's rights every time somebody says that they're against abortion let me tell you something right now sometimes it's not always the woman's decision as to whether or not she gets the abortion sometimes it's who they're with that makes their makes the decisions like either their husband or their boyfriend or fiance or whatever and the reason why i'm bringing this up is for this reason right here about a year or so ago i came across an article that was posted on 
Facebook from this uh, Facebook group that I followed there for a while. There's this pro-life slash pro-birth group that helps out women in need that end up getting pregnant accidentally or, you know, just something happens. But, you know, this article is about this one woman that wanted to get pregnant, you know, she, uh, how should I say this? She got pregnant and, of course, you know, her idiot husband that helped her get pregnant or her boyfriend or fiance, I don't know if they were actually married or not or engaged, but, um, the guy she was with was like, no, we are not having this baby. I am not adding that baby to this health care insurance. If you end up having this baby, either all of this is going to be on you, and I'm not going to help you out, or I'll just leave and not help at all. Okay, first off, if I was that woman and that man said that to me, his ass would be booted out the door in a heartbeat. The sad thing is the woman wanted to have the baby and that man is treating her like shit, you know, saying that he's not going to do this or that if that woman ends up having the baby. Well, sir, I'll say this to you right now. You're a complete piece of shit for saying that to your wife. And saying that you're not going to help her or the baby if they end up having the baby. Let me tell you something. Men that are like that to their girlfriend or their fiance or their wife or whoever, when they end up having the baby, you don't deserve any respect. I'm just saying. You would... I will definitely not respect any man that does that to their girl. I'll say that right now. Not only that, but I'm sure there are a lot of other women out there that have had to deal with that. And it's unfortunate. Whether or not that woman ended up getting that baby aborted, I don't know. Like I said, it was about a year ago that I came across that article but yeah now back to the subject with Tudor Dixon do I think she's perfect about each and every issue out there no did I ever vote for her in the first place no I'll admit you know my vote was actually going towards either people like Ryan Kelly or people like Garrett Sedano because I thought those two were actually pretty good I haven't put my vote in just yet but you know if I were to have already voted it would have been either one of those I honestly think those you know eat you know either one of them would have been a lot better than Tudor Dixon. But hey, if Tudor Dixon ends up winning as governor, then whatever, you know, I'll be, that'll be perfectly fine with me, you know. Because like I said, Gretchen Whitmer has ruined Michigan in so many ways. And it's not even funny. You know, a lot of people are probably going to sit there and say things like, Oh, well, Wimmer was just doing her job. She was just trying to save Michigan. She was just trying to do this and that. She was trying to do blah, 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 blah. Okay, you know, that's your right to say that, and I respect that. But let me tell you something right now. What about all the people out there that have either lost their jobs or their business all because... You know, Whitmer kept shutting Michigan down, and she has not said a damn thing about the amount of businesses that have closed down. And when there was a lot of small businesses out there that were fighting to stay open, she, you know, she would send 
like the health department or whatever to go and deal with that place and either find them or tell them that either they're going to lose their business if they don't shut down immediately. Like I said, I have never heard Gretchen Wimmer take accountability for ruining so many businesses out there. So if Whitmer ends up losing her place as governor, so be it then. Like I said, you know, with Tudor Dixon being in the lead now, I'll vote for her. I really don't care. I don't care if she's pro-life. I don't care if she's pro-choice in a way. You know what? I don't give two shits. I'm not just voting for Tudor Dixon because, you know, her views lean more conservative. Look, at the end of the day, I really don't care about the whole Republican, Democrat thing that goes on, even though my views lean towards conservative as well. Regardless if you're a conservative or a liberal, if you say that, you know, this and that's going to be done and that you want to try and make something better and it doesn't mean shit to me then you're not gonna give my support that's all there is to it you know maybe conservative Republicans might not be perfect and I'm sure there are Democrats out there that have done good but regardless that's just how I feel if you try and give me your word on something and it doesn't mean shit, like I said, you're not going to get my support. Of course, I accidentally just bumped my hat a little bit. <laughs> Which, side note, I actually just got this hat today. <laughs> but anyways, that's really all I got to say for this video. I'm sure I probably pissed a lot of people off for saying what I said. And I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of hate for making this video. But you know what? I don't give a shit about that at all. The things I have to say about certain situations do not stop just because people get their feelings hurt about it. That's just life. If you don't like the way somebody thinks, turn around and go the other way then. That's all I got to say. But if you do like this video, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. You know, feel free to subscribe if you want to. And that's really all I got to say. Y'all have a great day, great night, whenever you're watching this. And that's that. Peace.